uh, today we will uh, see how to register IP phone on CUCM there are two types of phone registration here auto registration and manual registration uh, first we will show auto registration mm, let's start uh, we have to know that we have here CUCM server CUCM server here on VMware and mm, to Windows for safe C communicate Cisco web IP communicator here another reverse IP communicator we have another phone here uh, in this main system okay mm, let's start we will configure on server first uh, we will log in on server already I have configured the auto registration uh, we have to con uh, configure uh, by add new here something will be different because I have already done it so I will try to uh, clear everything mm, server uh, system server then uh, find our server is configured and if there is no server we have to configure add new okay it is server ip address it is mm, i have configured the in this way and server address and save okay mm, server address and it will be created okay this this is the page and then save and okay and now we will configure auto registration here system Cisco unified CM and then we can find click and find uh, here already created a server we have um, given the IP address and server server here it is already created this system server we have to know that here uh, it will be the server this same underscore uh, and server is server this and description as you wish you can give it different and uh, no problem here the uh, directory number directory number is starting and it are ending and then uh, here is main function if you uh, check this work it will be def uh, disable the auto phone registration and so we have no we, have, we are we want to auto registration so we are not i uh, will not check this box mm, it is the uh, default setting here um, c port number it is default setting we have not sense it and then we will save we will uh, not check ok so this setting is already uh, taken if there is no DHCP server uh, in our network, so we have to create a DHCP server here. DHCP server. Uh, if uh, we have to click on Add New and create as I have already created as DHCP server here. Here it is here. 
DCB host at DC server and test and here is uh, option 152 uh, TFTB server at this and voice well, we have uh, configured previously in CME in this uh, number 152 in DHCP configuration here it is with server address and save and receive ok and now I will configure DHCP subnet here DHCP subnet uh, I have already configured here we have if there is no subnet configured we have to click on add new button and we will get uh, will get this this space if we click on add, add new this will get in this space okay and um, this server address it is our this server address it is network address uh, it is starting ip and ending ip it is the gateway and it is the subject must then uh, save it already done uh, server interrupts and we will go to the another phones will uh, phone int short phone here will run it run as administrator very slower in this video we will uh, see the auto registration and next video we will see the um, manual registration is getting up uh, the phone is uh, starting up and uh, Unable to reach TFTB server. We have to configure TFTB server for phone. Uh, TFTB server address will be the server address of CUCM. Uh, okay. Then we have to give the CFTB server here and tick mark all this. Check this box. By default, we have to check in this box. 192.168. Uh, 10.213 is our IP of CM server. Not, mm, okay. Please select the network interface register Cisco call manager and DIP has been searched. You okay? Network adapter will be selected here network adapter it is the device mac address ok ok uh, phone in the work is done phone will be registered automatically now is booting up yeah we have done another phone and see same thing here mm, 
run as administrator done and step to server will be configured here now we have uh, configured a interf uh, here and tape to server this here already almost uh, work is done mm, just phone will be booting and it is already registered it will register again we have to wait some uh, more times to boot up the phone so my system is uh, almost uh, slower so it is taking more times Now just we will check the call. Okay, we have physical phone here. We have another main machine. We have a one main machine here. Uh, it is our main machine. It's run as administrator. Okay. Yes. Phone registering. We have to configure TF2 server preference and network. Tape to server here, this uh, is configured. It will configure automatically now. Check the call. Okay. Uh, our uh, number is uh, double one. One two two zero double one. One two two zero double one. And we Working, working smoothly. Yes, uh, working. I can end the call. 